What's going on guys? I'm here on my back porch reading some scripture. I'm in the book of Galatians. I'm finishing it up and I really like Galatians 6. It spoke to me and you know, I wanted to share my thoughts on it. What are you doing crazy girl? Wanted to share my thoughts on it. The book of Galatians purpose is to call out false teachers and false prophets of the word basically saying that the law of Moses has been done away with and through the belief of Christ you are saved in salvation so you can't just be saved through abiding by the laws anymore but anyways yo you this girl man it's my dog by the way stop getting crazy but in Galatians 6 I really like it that I touched on some some big topics here Galatians 6 2 share each other's burdens and in this way obey the law of Christ if you think you are too important to help someone you are only fooling yourself you are not that important so being able to help others and sometimes we let our ego or our pride get in the way and saying that oh we are above these people and so we're really not we have to check ourselves because who are you it's because you have digits in your bank account doesn't make you more important than somebody else or your status in life it doesn't make you more important than the homeless person so always be able to check yourself and humble yourself um, through those moments another one here is Galatians 6 7 don't be misled you cannot mock the justice of God you will always harvest what you plant those who live only to justify their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from the sinful nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone especially those in the family of faith i really love that because you reap what you sow whatever you've planted so if you're planting with the intentions of a sinful wicked nature you're going to get just that later on just because you think just because you're scheming and you're planting and you see that plan moving in the direction that you want because of the fact that your heart is wrong and it's operating out of wickedness, you will reap bad end result for you, whatever it is. And if not now, then eventually you will. So basically have good intentions in your heart. Always seek the Lord with everything that you do and you will eventually reap a good harvest, a good fruit. And then number nine right here, right? Let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, he will reap a harvest of blessing. If we don't give up, we always want to give up when we're always giving, giving, and giving, and we don't see the fruition, and we're focusing too much on an outcome. The moment we stop focusing on the outcome and just allow God to, to become and give us what is, is already his, then then we'll we'll end up having a good harvest as well so it basically it just comes down to your intent of your heart where are you always ask where are you right now in the journey with your heart your intentions are you continuously trying to seek out for your own sinful nature or your own selfish nature or are you trying to glorify god with everything that you do and that's um that's important that's important because personally life without God is meaningless that is my philosophy and I'm going to keep sticking to it because I've seen the miracles that God has has done in my life and other people's lives and you, if you don't give glory to him you're giving glory to the self and you're not in control so but that's a quick rant of mine Galatians Six, one of my favorite chapters, honestly. Um, yeah, just want to share that, guys. Have a great day. Have a blessed one.